Oh my word. Gosh, put your feet up. getting all of his pills for yeah. the day. He just did his breathing on the bike and we are about to leave this spot. See how uh, beautiful I look. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you be so beautiful. Oh my word. You are pretty, my love. Thanks. When you're camping full time. <laughs> For a long time, you don't see yourself in a mirror. We woke up and it was 44 degrees out. Yeah. We got a long way to go today. Yep. We need to cover a lot of mileage, so we're gonna pack up and get on the road. So guys, welcome to day five. Alrighty then, day five. Day five, being on the bike. You want to get on the other side and catch it if it falls? I'll try. <laughs> okay, one, two, three, go. Push. Okay, ready? One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. All right, let me get out of here. Ready for me? Ready. Great campsite. Eden Valley Campground in the Siskiyou National Forest. So today, like we said, we trying to get as far as we can. We got a good start. It's 10 o'clock. Beautiful weather out. 54 degrees. A little chilly. Right, Bib? Yes, the sun is out. Not a cloud in the sky much better weather than yesterday. Yesterday it started sprinkling just a tiny bit before we left. Yeah, and it was cloudy all day. You know, when reading about the TAT, and if you guys don't know what the TAT is, it's just short for Trans-America Trail. But when I was reading about it, a lot of people said to run full knobbies. And I'm really glad I didn't because the amount of paved roads we've been on so far. I feel like we've been on probably 30% paved roads, at least. I mean, we haven't gotten very far, but I, I'm running the Shinko 244s, and I feel like these have been pretty perfect for what we have encountered so far. Man, my dad would love this. When we get there, be like, Dad, you need to buy a KLR. And me and you are going to ride it all the way back to California. Up, oh, back on dirt road. Huh. This must be, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I guess it's not this way. I'm going to try to turn it around. Alright, you might have to get off and push it. <laughs> okay, stop, 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 stop. Jeez. Okay, you can get on. Well, I guess back to the paved road. <laughs> we are back on the dirt. Look how pretty. I mean, look at this. 
<laughs> Look to the right and left. Look at that view. Whew. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> Look how beautiful this is. I just cannot get over this. See, if we were on this paved road, we would have missed this. So, guys, we're getting... Bump, 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 bump. So, we're getting into some very isolated... Trey, much more isolated stuff. This is... This, this looks like... Where the frick is my... Did I lose my back brake? Yeah, it's like I have no back brake. Yeah, I don't know what's with my back. Oh, I completely lost it. Yeah, I have, n I have no back brake at all. Right now, I have no back brake. I wonder if it just got too hot. It's funny because when Jeremy did, uh, did the trail, he lost his back brake, or his friend lost his back brake. Oh man, I hope this isn't blocking the road. Yeah, it's just hard to. St I need to fix the back brake. <laughs> oh, man, I can't ride with the uh, back brake. Here, get off. I don't want you to fall. I'm just gonna get. Because, like, when I put my front br brake on, it wants to wash out on me. Let's see what's going on with this. Yeah, it's coming back. So it must have just got way too hot. There's fluid in there. As we uh, let it cool off for a little bit. All right, you're good. And back brake is back, but uh, yeah, that's not it's not very comfortable knowing that that back brake overheats that easily. I feel like I wasn't using it that much. Uh, yeah, we were going pretty far down. I'm just gonna keep it in first gear and just let the engine engine brake. Do a lot less braking, so when I need it, I have it. Because we almost went down back there. This is more dirt bike trails. I mean, this is this is a single track, but this is much less traveled. Adventure riding and like dirt biking, of course, they're simulators because you're on a bike and you're off road. But with dirt biking, you're always going back to the same point you started most of the time. With adventure riding, it's all new stuff. You're never backtracking. Unless there's a detour, of course, but for the most part, yeah. What the heck? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. All right, you wanna get off so we don't uh, go over the uh, ledge? So, you have to get on the other side, where the ledge is. Whew. That would be a tumble. Jeez. Just like every bump. How's my panty on this side? Am I good? Okay. 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 Stop! These brakes suck, guys. Okay, hold it. Hold it tight. Okay. We're good. Actually, I gotta take off my jacket. Can't do it, I'm sweating. I'm sweating real bad. Whew. It's amazing how a heavy bike wears you out. 
that easy. Just walking it. Oh man, it is hot. No, can you? Oh boy. Alright guys, so we have come to another blocked road. Yeah, I mean there's huge boulders over here. We can probably get around, but it says road, cl road closed um, says violators will be prosecuted. I am not, I'm all for going around blockades, but when it has signs like that, um, I just don't feel like getting into legal trouble. So I'm trying to find a way around it and it's I mean it's just a maze of roads if we just keep following the road we were just on we might be a I mean there's there's ways but I just hope it's not blocked as well so we're gonna continue forward uh, with the road we just pulled off on and try to find our way to a main road to meet back up with the trail so we are still going up this dirt road and still haven't found our way out of here but we're at the top of the mountain we're getting there so this gravel stuff is so unpredictable um, you know it's hard packed under that but if you get in uh, there's just so many different situations where you can be on pretty good compact dirt and then hit a pile of gravel and just feel like you're not in control at all. Yeah, we got a little too far to the right and hit some loose gravel and got a little swirly. Yeah, Kelsey puckered up a little bit. Is that a trail? Holy hill climb. You want to try it? Yeah, I don't either. So I ordered an IMS extended bra er, shift lever because with these boots, I cannot get my foot under the shift lever. Uh, and I'm not even a, I don't even have big feet. I wear like eight to nine. So now we're just trying to get back on the trail. Um, we're gonna probably have to hop on the highway up here but, like I said, all part of the adventure. We are back on the pavement. It feels weird to see cars and buildings. I know, and it's only been two days. And now we are just going to hop on the highway and get back on the trail. I have no idea. Oh, we are in Riddle. Riddle, Oregon. All right, guys, we stopped. Let me tell you what town it is. So we stopped in Canyonville. Uh, we got all the way back to where the trail meets up um, off the exit. And there's nothing. There's no gas, no food. So we had to backtrack 10 miles and come back uh, to Canyonville. And we grabbed a bite to eat at Ken's, Ken's Sidewalk Cafe. So we're gonna fill up our water bottles and uh, hit the road again. Hopefully, Hopefully, uh, make some distance because I feel like we're going nowhere. I know. Everything's so slow when you're taking the back roads. And I just have this anxiety hanging over me because we have to be somewhere. Alright. Um, but we got plenty of days to get there, so. I'm gonna go fill up the water bottle in the sink so I don't have to pay for water. Yep. I'll be right back. Then we'll load up and hit the road again. We need to get back on the bike. Wanna go bye-bye's? We can go for a ride? Wanna go bye-bye's? Wanna go bye-bye's? We are officially back on the tats. Yeah, I don't like it. Yeah. And we are officially back on dirt. Oh man, this is a really oh, rough dirt road. <laughs> I don't know how guys do 200 miles a day. <laughs> Alright, we had our first fall. Ugh. That's a big freaking rock. Yeah, that's a rock we went over. 
<laughs> yeah, we hit that rock. I mean, this is this is skinny. All right, let's get the bike up. All right, I gotta turn it this way. One, two, three. Okay, we're up 4,100 feet. Oh. Yeah. I know. Whew. Okay. Just that was pretty rough, guys. This is definitely the most most technical that we've been on. I see why guys do this one. 250s. Oh, I see how this is. Okay, <laughs> you're okay, baby. Hop off, okay? Oh, shoot. <coughs> Take a breather. Alright, guys, she's taking a nap. This is by far. Look at this. I mean, this is all huge. Look how big these rocks are. Um, but yeah, we gotta go up there. So Kelsey's gonna hop off with the pup, and we're gonna muscle our way up. Yeah, view's beautiful. Beautiful view. Good place to uh, drop the bike. <laughs> At least we're not on a cliff. Kelsey's gonna fly back for sure. <laughs> yep. Be careful. Oh boy, easy, easy, easy. Go get him, boy. <laughs> Rusty's coming to save you. <laughs> Babe, he's so worried. What the heck? Alright hey guys, so I got out of that tough part. Uh, we're leaking fuel, hurry. It's gonna be tough to get up. You ready? One, two, three. Crap. You ready? One, two, three. Keep pulling. Okay. Oh man, guys. This part of the trail, I mean this is, whew, the bike is just so heavy, on a dirt bike this would be a breeze, I'm trying to ride it like a dirt bike, but it just handles so much differently than a dirt bike, but check out these views, we're going to take a break, and then get back on it. Alright guys, we're going to do our best to get up this, because I'm getting worn out. Kelsey's not going to hop on yet until we're in the clear. Lord. 
Lord have mercy. Man, that was tough. This is so not easy. Okay. Took a little breather. The altitude is not my friend right now. Alright, hopefully that was it, because I'm completely worn out. <sighs> completely. There's nothing, no research that can, prepare, that can prepare you mentally for this. All right, Kelsey's gonna hop on, and uh, we're gonna try our hand at the rest of this trail. Oh my word! Gosh, it, put your feet up. I think we need to turn around. Oh crap, guys. Um, I think we're gonna have to skip this part because uh, that last section was hard, and this is about double as steep. I'm just nervous about going down. All right, let's pick this up again. One, two, three. Hey right, guys, this might be interesting. I'm getting down here. Gosh, I'm just exhausted. Holy crap. I have 60% lung function, so... Um, going from sea level to 4,000 feet is, doesn't sound like a lot, but 60% lung function, it, <clears throat> it makes a huge difference. Those are big rocks. Uh, watch out for this part. I've, uh, I've put a little marker on it. I'll, uh, give you the long, long latitude and longitude of it. Just be prepared. It's pretty tough if you got a bigger bike. So yeah, I know why people ride with soft luggage. It's hard luggage. It's like every time I put my foot down, uh, it gets caught on the hard luggage. It just wants to, I can s easily see how people break legs. All right. Keep us safe, Lord. Keep us safe. Here we go. I'm riding to 250. <laughs> I'm riding to 250. Here we go. Oh, yeah. We got this, guys. We got it. Walk in the park. It's a big rock. Let's try to avoid that. Whoop. Stalled her. Didn't fall, though. Let's creep on by these big old rocks. Creep on by. There we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. See the... Do not use the front brake. All right, here we go. There we go. There we go. We got it. We got it, guys. Here we go. All right. We got it, baby. Yep, easy part now. It's gnarly freaking stuff. Oh, that's a relief. It sucks because we almost made, I mean, we're more than halfway between here and the point where I want to get. Um, but we know that way is easy and I don't want to risk anybody getting hurt. Because um, if I get hurt, Kelsey's out here by herself waiting for a rescue. So we're going to go back the way we came, get back on that main road, go around the lake to that camp spot and hope and probably camp there for tonight. Eating berries off the side of the road. Oh my gosh. They're so good. A little road snack. Oh, I gotta get out of the road. Hold on. Alright, back on track. Look at the scenery. This is beautiful. Man, we're so high I see birds flying over the trees. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm losing my voice from talking so much. 
It might be, it might be because of all the dust too. All right, so the campsite that we wanted to stay at is closed due to fire. Uh, so we are back on the trail, and it is getting dark out at seven o'clock. But uh, there is another campsite up here. I guesstimate about ten miles. So that's where we're going. And that's why I'm glad we have the Denali lights, is for occasions like this. You know, I'm getting to that point where I'm pretty tired and I'm ready for a warm, warm bed and a good meal. But probably can't have a fire tonight, so we'll probably have a cold soup. Long, long day. Some of the roads were closed, or some of the campsites were closed, like you saw, due to the fire. So we got back on the trail, we went like another 10 miles on the trail, and then we made, came to a paved road that had like five different campsites on it. We're still in the national park. So, uh, all the campsites are like 10 bucks to stay, and we don't have $10 cash. So, we uh, just found a little fire in, right there. And it's right next to Paved Road. We are exhausted. It really takes it, takes it out of you when you have to pick up that bike. Oh, that was very disheartening. But we got through it. We are going to finish setting up the camp and then call it a night. So guys, if you did enjoy today's vlog and you enjoyed day support five. our efforts, <laughs> their struggles. If you got entertainment out of that, give it a thumbs up because that was a lot of work. Yeah. Don't forget to like, subscribe, do we your thing. See you tomorrow. And we will see you tomorrow. Rusty boy was hungry. He did good today. Yes, he did. He's a trooper. Baddest dog I've ever known. Oh my gosh, you got crap all in your ear. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as you know, we're doing this trip to raise awareness and funds for cystic fibrosis. So check out the GoFundMe link below. You can donate there and 100% of the proceeds go to the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation. We hope we have inspired you and we hope you enjoy the rest of our journey.